Let's make our way to a tropical paradise. Welcome back. Today, we're creating the painkiller. Now, the painkiller was created at the Soggy Dollar Bar in the British Virgin Islands. Now, the Soggy Dollar Bar is located on Joost van Dijk Island. The reason it's called such is initially, in order to access that bar and be able to enjoy a drink from there, Boats would have to drop anchor outside of the shore, and then people would have to wade in to onto the shore to then walk up to, to the bar. So all the money in their pockets would be soggy, hence soggy dollar bar in the British Virgin Islands. A bit of history as well about this drink is that Pussers, a brand of rum actually put in a trademark on the drink itself meaning similar to the dark and stormy and how with that you need to use gosling's dark bermuda rum to have an actual painkiller you must use pusser's rum welcome to capitalism it is what it is so if you're at home Yes, you can use any rum that you like. Recommended a Jamaican style because Pusser's is English, which is Jamaican, but any rum will work. If you are a restaurant and you make a painkiller and you don't use Pusser's rum, hope that a Pusser's representative does not show up because if he finds that you're not using Pusser's, you will be served a cease and desist. Hooray for trademarks. So, Never had it. I've heard it's also very similar and it's like a more, it's like an elevated type of pina colada. So, never had it. Let's make it. It's a shaken cocktail. Which means, grab a shaker. And to the shaker, I need an ounce of freshly squeezed orange juice. And I need an ounce of cream of coconut. This is Coco Lopez. You may remember this from when I did Oh, what was that cocktail? When I did the Coquito back in Christmas of 2021, I now need four ounces of pineapple juice. And now to make sure that Pusters does not get any sort of idea, I need Pusters rum. And I need two ounces of Pusters rum. And now I'm gonna throw this away as I grab my ice. Okay, got my ice, add it in, take the cocktail, add it in as well, we'll give it a pop, make sure we're good, go! Good, I went 20 seconds on the shake because uh, initially it should be, don't give it too much of a shake. Uh, one of the ways to serve this would be over crushed ice. I'm not doing crushed ice today. Instead, so I'm serving it in this tiki glass under a big rock. Hawthorne in, strain right on top. And one thing I must state to the people out there. Cream of coconut, especially Coco Lopez or anything like that, tends to coagulate in room temperature. So what is recommended is heat up the cream of coconut before you begin to use it in cocktails, or else you're gonna have a devil of a time trying to get the exact uh, ratio correct. Now, for garnish, I need a piece of nutmeg, and I need my microplane because I need to grate nutmeg right on top. Put that back in. And now grab a straw, insert in like so. And this is a painkiller. Cheers. Mm. 
Mm. Ooh. Very pineapple forward in this. Um, no, th I would not consider this a more refined or higher end uh, pina colada. I think it's a bit of an insult to both drinks. Um, but the pineapple takes a lot of the uh, forefront to this. Um, the cream of coconut, it's there very, very much in the background. The rum, can't really taste it. Um, another thing about this is the painkiller also comes into, also has three different variants. And it's named off of how much pain must you kill. And you have a level one, level two, and level three. This was a level one, which utilizes two ounces of rum. A level two is three ounces of rum. And a level three is four ounces of rum. But for me, two ounces, level one, I don't have a ton of pain to kill, so I'll enjoy this. But this is a, this is a nice cocktail. You know, I have to say, the, um, the pineapple, the coconut, the rum, the oranges, it all just, it's blending together and it's a beautiful drink. Um, as I was saying, you know, the painkiller require, uh, requiring, or the painkiller coming in three different uh, variations, just different, just how much rum um, really helps because some people may want uh, a lot of rum so they could request a level three painkiller or some people just like, yeah, you know, just want to start a standard drink, a level one painkiller, which is this. But overall, good cocktail. If you liked the video, then please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and share the video, please. If you want to use any of the barware I use on my show for the glassware, bar tools themselves, anything, check down below to a link to kit.co, which houses everything in links. They are Amazon affiliate links, which you know how that works. Check out my socials as well down in the description below. Until next time, thank you for watching. I'll be back real soon with another cocktail. This has been The Beginner's Bar.